Hello and welcome to SSB Crack Exams. This is Girish and in this lecture we will solve the MCQs based on daily current affairs and today's date is 6th of February. These current affairs will be useful for your AFCAT, NDA, CDS, CAPF, Territorial Army and various other defense examinations. Before we begin, I would like you to know about the courses that we have launched. SSB Crack Exams being India's largest defense examination preparation portal have launched courses for AFCAT, CDS, NDA, Territorial Army, INET, Indian Air Force Group X, Group Y and various others defense and paramilitary examinations. You can know more about these courses by visiting our website ssbcrackexams.com. You can follow us on Instagram, you can follow us on YouTube. You can also download our app from the Google Play Store by typing SSB Crack Exams. We also have an introductory offer. You can get 10% off on all the courses by using the code WARRIOR10. So now let's get started. The first question is, where was the 11th edition of Defense Expo held? 11th edition of Defense Expo. Option A, Lucknow. Option B, Delhi. Option C, Pune. And option D, Chennai. Here we have to choose the correct answer. And the correct answer is option A, Lucknow. Prime Minister Narendra Modi has inaugurated the 11th edition of Defence Expo in Lucknow, Uttar Pradesh which is being held from 5th of February 2020 to 9th of February 2020. And the host ministry for this Defence Expo is the Defence Ministry. Defence Ministry, the Government of India. And the main aim of this Defence Expo is to shift the economy of the country from net defence importer to exporter. That means today in this world what is happening is India is one of the largest, one of the largest defense importer. So if we see weapons, tanks, aircrafts, India is one of the largest importer of the defense equipment. So India want to change this and that is why it is organizing these events like the Defense Expo and all. The theme for this expo is Emerging Defense Manufacturing Hub. This is the theme. Remember this, this can be asked in the exam. The Emerging Defense Manufacturing Hub. So here if you see the Defense Expo 2020 okay, been organized by the Department of Defense under the Ministry of Defense. Here you can see this is the tank, the, the BrahMos, the tank being in action. Okay, So this is about the Defense Expo. The next question is Vadavan port is located at A. Andhra Pradesh B. Tamil Nadu, C. Karnataka and D. Maharashtra. Vadavan port is located at. Here the examiner is asking about the location of the port. The correct answer is option D. Maharashtra. The cabinet, union cabinet chaired by Prime Minister Narendra Modi has given its principal approval for setting up of a major port at Vadavan near Dhanavu in Maharashtra. Vadavan port will be developed on landlord model. A special purpose vehicle will be formed within Jawaharlal Nehru Port Trust and as a lead partner with equity participation equal to or more than 50% of the project. Okay. Currently the position of Jawaharlal Nehru Port, the biggest container port in India, it is 28th in the world with a traffic of 5.1 million TEUs, 20 foot equivalent units. Maharashtra has India's largest container port at Jawaharlal Nehru Port Trust which caters the hinterland of Maharashtra, North Karnataka, Telangana and second hinterland of Gujarat, Madhya Pradesh, Rajasthan, NCR, Punjab and Uttar Pradesh. Okay. Now if we see all the major ports that are there in India, India has 13 major ports like Kolkata port, the Paradip port, the Vishakapatnam port, the Enor port, Chennai port, Titicorn port, Kochi port, Mangalore port, Marmogova port and the Mumbai port. Here we also have the Kandla port. So these are the 13 major ports that we have in India. Okay, remember this. The Kolkata, Paradip, Vishakapatnam, Ennore, Chennai, Titicorin. These are to the east. Okay. The others like Kandla, Mumbai, Marmogova, Mangalore, Kochi. These are to the west. Okay. So remember like this, the east and the west side important ports, the major ports. The next question is, Vizag Chennai Industrial Corridor is financed by Vizag Chennai Industrial Corridor. A. Asian Development Bank B. New Development Bank 
C. Asian Infrastructure and Investment Bank D. World Bank Okay, here we have to choose the correct answer and the correct answer is A. Asian Development Bank The Asian Development Bank it has prepared a conceptual development plan for the development of Vizag Chennai Industrial Corridor Here the state of Andhra Pradesh has four nodes namely Vishakapatnam, Machili Patnam, Danakonda and Chittur These four are the nodal points in Andhra Pradesh Okay And among the nodes the government of Andhra Pradesh it has prioritized Vishakhapatnam and Chittur Okay So the Asian Development Bank is financing Vizag Chennai Industrial Corridor If you know if you want to know more about the Asian Development Bank here it is the Asian Development Bank is a regional development bank established on 19th December 1966 and the headquarters of this Asian Development Bank is in the city of Manila which is the capital of Philippines. Here you can see in this map this is the location of Philippines. Here is India. Okay, beside India we have China and in the South China Sea you have Philippines. Okay, this is its location. So when the Asian Development Bank is found it has 31 members but now Asian Development Bank has 68 members and another fact is that the Asian Development Bank gives loans to the countries which have infrastructure needs so that is about the Asian Development Bank remember these key points it is established in 1966 headquarters at Manila Philippines it has 31 members when it started but now it has 68 members there is another bank called AIIB Asian Infrastructure Investment Bank and the headquarters of this bank is in Beijing. Beijing is in China. Okay. Just remember this. The next question is Mission Rakshagyan Shakti is launched by Mission Rakshagyan Shakti. A. Ministry of Home Affairs. B. Ministry of Defense. C. Ministry of Education. D. Ministry of Commerce. You have to choose the correct answer. And the correct answer is B. Ministry of Defense. So in 2018, Minister of Defense has launched this Mission Rakshagyan Shakti to make sure that the intellectual property of the creators in defense is being protected and people become aware of this intellectual property rights. Okay, that is the main advantage or you can say that is the main mission of this Mission Rakshagyan Shakti. The next question is, what is India's rank in Global Innovation and Policy Centers IP Index? IP is the intellectual property intellectual property so option A 44 option B 46 option C 40 and option D 36 and the correct answer is option C 40 recently the global innovation policy center of US Chamber and Commerce released the intellectual property index according to this ranking India is ranked at 40th. Earlier, in 2019 rank, India is at 36. There is a total of 53 countries. Rankings for 53 countries is given. Global rankings, if you see, US is ranked at 1, followed by UK, the third Sweden, followed by France, Germany and Ireland. Okay. So, this is about Global Innovation and Policy Centers IP Index. India is ranked at 40 out of the 53 countries. The next question is, Indian Institute of Information Technology IIIT, is not located at A. Surat B. Bhopal C. Vishakapatnam D. Agartala We have to choose the place where Indian Institute of Information Technology is not located Okay, The correct answer is C. Vishakapatnam Recently, Union Cabinet approved the inclusion of Indian Institute of Information Technology situated at Surat Bhopal, Bhagalpur, Agartala and Raichur under the IIIT Public-Private Partnership Act of 2017 in Delhi. Okay. So this is about Indian Institute of Information Technology. The next question is Pradhan Mantri Shramayogi Mandhan Yojana is for A. Unorganized Sector B. Organized Sector C. Trader D. Old Age we have to choose the correct answer and the correct answer is A. Unorganized Sector The Pradhan Mantri Shram Yogi Mandan Yojana is a pension scheme launched for the unorganized workers It's a pension scheme 
This scheme envisages for providing minimum monthly assured income. So a minimum monthly assured income will be provided to all the people who enroll for this scheme after the age of 60 years. And the minimum contribution varies from person to person depending on their capacity. It varies from 50 rupees 55 to 200. Okay. So this scheme mainly want to deal with the unorganized sector, unorganized workers and provide protection and social security to these people in their old age. Okay. So those people who are directly engaged in this unorganized sector, they are like rickshaw pullers, street vendors, the head loaders, the brick clean workers, cobblers, etc. Okay. The next question is the bullet train project between Mumbai and Ahmedabad is funded by which country? We know the bullet train project is started between Mumbai and Ahmedabad. And the question is which country funded this project? Option A, China. Option B, USA. Option C, Japan. And option D, France. And the correct answer is option C, Japan. Union government on 5th February made an extra budgetary allocation. We know we got our budget on 1st of February. So here on the 5th of February, the union government made an extra budgetary allocation of rupees 5000 crores for the bullet train project. This extra budgetary allocation will include the equity from government of Maharashtra and Gujarat. Okay. As well as the loan reimbursement from the Japanese International Cooperation Agency, JICA. This is the main entity which is funding this project. Okay. This is funding approximately 80% of the project. The next question is, what is India's rank in the global steel production? Global steel production. A4, B3, C2 and D1. What is India's rank? The correct answer is C2. As per the World Steel Association data released recently, India became the second largest steel producer after China in 2018 and 19. Okay, it has replaced Japan. India's crude production in 2018 was 109.3 metric tons, 3 million tons, sorry. And there is an increase of 7.7% in from 2017. You can see all of this in this chart. So first is China, followed by India, Japan, USA and Korea. They are the top 5 steel producing nations. Here you can see the difference. China alone produces about 50% of the steel across the world. That is the production that China does. China has excess of production. Okay. So here you can see the share of the rest of the countries. In this chart, I have given you the details from comparing 2018 and 19. Okay. The next question is, Jan Sevak scheme was launched by A. Karnataka, B. Maharashtra, C. Bihar and D. Odisha. Jan Sevak scheme. The correct answer is A. Karnataka. On 5th February 2020, the state government of Karnataka has launched the Jan Sevak scheme. This scheme aims to provide the doorstep government service. So the aim of this scheme is minimum government and maximum governance. This is the main aim. So it tries to provide the government services at the doorstep of the people. It intends to digitize several schemes because the digitalization has been happening rapidly and it is very advantageous for both the people and the government and this will make all the services accessible to the people in an easier manner so that's it for this today for this day i'll see you tomorrow with more current affair mcqs jai hind